Hello and welcome to Better Reading TV. Uh, today we've got two uh, unusual guests to say the least. Well, not that unusual. I've known them for some years. They're both friends. They have both been cooking together and separately for a very long time. One's called The Cook and the other's called The Baker. And they're with us today to talk about their book, The Cook and the Baker. So which is which and why? Who's the cook <laughs> and who's the baker? We're both chefs and we've both had a passion, mad passion for baking. When we decided to go into business together, we just loved the name The Cook and Baker. And we thought, let's call it The Cook and Baker. And I said, I'll be the cook, you be the baker. You be the baker. Well, my first job was working at an old home cookery back in New Zealand, which was amazing. That was run by a 70 year old CWI baker. Yeah. She was amazing. So yeah, it's all started from there and then Professionally up through the Navy was all always on pastry side and then you know working with Sheree There was always lots of pastry and yeah, so it's just always sort of been there Tass and Sheree have a fabulous shop and because I was a frequent visitor to the coffee shop We then had a conversation about a book and it's a bit like you know You love it so much you buy the company. I loved it so much. We bought the book What is it like to have your own cookbook? It's been a and dream, hasn't yeah, it, for years? Totally. We started working on a, another book, and not, not based on, on baking, about 10 years ago, Tass and I used to meet once a week and started you know, filing recipes and because it was always on the to-do list. It was part of our career. We wanted, to, wanted a book. This, to me, is your shop. It's who you are. It's who you are, really, as a partnership. You two have been working together for how many years? Over 20, yeah. isn't it? It's, it was just inevitable that we were going to end up doing something together um, because we just we just gel. think the same. You know, we think the same. We have the same style. We have the same work ethics. Um, you know, we're best friends. But and we were warned before when we went to see the accountant. Don't do it. To, don't, don't do it. Do Partnerships it. never work. They <laughs> never work. work. Don't do it. And Tass and I both looked at each other and went, "Well, yes, we realise that, but we, we we know we're different. Yeah. We know we just have something that, and we really." After working off and on for so long, it was just important that we, you know, did one business together. Now I asked Tass uh, to choose something easy for me, something that I could possibly make out of the book, and he chose the passion fruit meringue tarts. But of course, they weren't easy enough for me. <laughs> Too long for each one of those. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> That'll yeah, be my yeah, one. <laughs> that Cheryl's. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one that I helped with. <laughs> And it actually caught on fire. I've got a little theory about people that cook desserts, that they're show-offy by nature. Because really... <laughs> <laughs> <What? Well. laughs> Don't you think? I think so. You can be a bit more flamboyant with the decoration <laughs> and finishing off of something. So. I think I No, I'm always happy to hand it over. <laughs> because it always tastes fantastic. That's it from us today at Better Reading TV. Thank you so much, Tass and Cherie, for joining us. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>